Back up and running. Oil is flowing again in these facilities in South Sudan. Every barrel produced is vital to Africa's youngest nation. Oil provides nearly all of its GDP. But the main operating company says not all wells are working. The field here has the capacity to produce 45,000 barrels per day, and it's only producing 20,000. The station wasn't working for five years, so some wells have issues such as electricity, and now production here is at half capacity. Oil production halted four years ago when rebels attacked the facilities. South Sudan has the third largest oil reserves in sub-Saharan Africa. But the war, which started in 2013, two years after South Sudan split from Sudan with 75% of the oil reserves, resulted in major facilities being destroyed. Production fell by nearly a third, but now a deal signed in July promoted hopes of a return to full production. Four months on, the country is still a long way short of its previous production level. At the moment, South Sudan produces roughly 150,000 barrels per day. 40% goes to operational costs, and the government is left with 90,000 barrels. Out of that, 20% goes to oil partners such as China's CNPC and Malaysia's Petronas, and the government keeps the rest. But even then, the country still has to share some of the profit with the government of Sudan. That's because South Sudan lacks the infrastructure to process and transport its oil. It has to use Sudan's infrastructure and still has to pay nearly a billion dollars to Sudan as part of a financial agreement it signed following independence. And the country's oil sells for $5 less than prices on the international market. Every dollar earned is vital to reduce the high inflation. Hey, towel, towel, towel. We are suffering. Things have become very expensive. Hopefully, the prices will go down. This is the market where I sell my goods and they are expensive. Prices have been going up, but they have started going down since the resumption. South Sudan's government says it will work to bring production back to previous levels by the end of the year. For us, it is very vital because the economy of this country, 90% of it is actually based on oil. And the prices of oil must uh, continue to remain high because we are a producer at the same time also a consumer. So we need to make sure that we benefit from both uh, both instabilities in the market. Many wells are yet to resume production. In a country that relies so heavily on oil, the government is hoping it can keep the oil flowing to kickstart its struggling economy. Ibo Morgan Al Jazeera, Rouen, South Sudan.